Exciting times on hook, line and sinker now. We are very fortunate in that we have our very own fishing show. And what that means, Nick, is that we need our very own fishing show boat. It is an important tool of the trade, yes. Andrew. Vital. But everyone's got a bit of a smile today, a bit of a spring in the step, because we're here at Glamorous Dandenong South, <laughs> which is on the outskirts of Melbourne, and it is the place where bar crusher boats are created. And we've had a love affair with bar crusher boats, Andrew. Yes, we have. A relationship which stretches back more than a decade. Today we are we're pouring over the models and we 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 we're trying to choose our next bar crusher. For the past three years, we've had this boat. This is a 670 hard top, mm -hmm. and we've come to love this boat. We've done everything in this boat, and it does everything well. It is a great all-round boat, but we're thinking maybe it's time we changed it up a bit. I'd agree with you. 670 is a great all-round boat. Um, time to change to something different. Have you, have you thought about a 730? Yes. We're pretty excited about the 730. Yes. Um, it's a later model. Yeah. Um, it's not dissimilar to the 670, it's a little bit bigger all round. We think you would love the 730. Our boat is in the process of being built, but we have to pick all the things. A bit like building a house, when yes. you're picking out your fixtures and your fittings. I love fixtures and fittings. There are some steps along the way that will make our bar crusher perfect for us. First thing we need to tick off on is your seat boxes. Yep. We can have tackle tray inserts, we can have lockable boxes, or we can go for the deluxe. The king and queen back-to-back -back seats with your slide-out ingle fridge freezer. Colour, can't go wrong with, uh, with the black upholstery, always looks clean. Colour for the boat. <laughs> Colour of your painting, match that with your upholstery. Can't go wrong with black on black. Trim tabs are a must. They're going to allow you just to fine-tune the ride of your boat in all conditions. Yep. We'll put those in the boat. Uh, salt water deck wash, it's going to be fantastic for hosing the boat down, keeping yep. it clean while you're out in the water. Uh, and the beauty of this, we will factory fit all these options so it's done right, it's under the bar crush away, you'll have no hassles whatsoever. All you need to worry about is catching fish. Do it. Done. Let's lock it in. When can we pick it up? Tomorrow. When can we it tomorrow? <laughs> the day after. <laughs> So today is, I think, Andrew, without too much word of exaggeration, one of the most exciting days in the past 16 year history of this fishing program. Yeah. We are here in Melbourne. We are here in South Dandenong, more precisely, because there is something here, Andrew, that belongs to us. Nick, it is delivery day. Our 7.3 metre hardtop bar crusher has finally been finished and we are here to take her away. We've got to pay for it. Oh, boy. oh my goodness. Just look at it. Introducing the producer. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir, have done okay. a magnificent mate. job. Mate, I cannot wait to get this bad boy out of the water, Pete. As always, mate. It's a bar crusher, so it's set up ready to fish. We've got factory fitted 700 rod holders, kill <laughs> tank, uh, live bait tank, big bait board. Two batteries. Two batteries. A lot of thought, though, in, in the position of everything, isn't there? Yeah, look, it's, uh, you know, when you're, you're fishing, you want your cockpit to be set out so that everything's at hand. And, uh, and we always try to think or look through the eyes of the fisherman, you know, what's he going to want? You know, nice stable platform, um, combings at the right height, comfortable to use, plenty of rod storage, as you say, plenty of rod holders, nice bait board, place to put your brush and your, your pliers and your, your knife and your bits and pieces. So, yep, we think about it every day. You really do, mm. and you execute it perfectly. Now, this is all new. This is a new model. This is a new design. The roof, yep. the cockpit, everything. Yep latest model in our hardtop design. Um, you'll notice the, the thing that's obvious when you walk up to the boat is it's thicker, it's a double thickness. Yep. We've also put some extra facility up top for radios and electronics up top there. Changed the dash layout, so now that the uh, the sounders, because everyone's going to bigger sounders yeah. now with big screens, we wanted to make sure there's plenty of room on the dash and it's just at the right angle in terms of glare. Uh, so yeah, everyone that's seen it loves it, loves the idea. And this is comfortable just holding onto this big, big rail. Yep. Um, the seats are great, the seats I love. The back-to-back -back seats, the helm seat here, which can you can either sit or stand. Yep. And under there, Pete. Under here, we've got uh, a fridge, angle fridge that can be used as a freezer or a fridge. We really you do. Know, people are a bit tired of their uh, their bait uh, 
going soft. You can keep it frozen all day with this, so only use what you need. You think of everything. <laughs> we try. This is the magnificent Yamaha 4.2 litre V6 250 horsepower four stroke. The most amount of power that this hull is rated to carry, and I think that's probably a good thing. Beautiful engine, we've had something to do with one of these before. Boys, I think it is time to go and put this in the water. Let's go. Yes? I'm just playing with the sound. Andrew, man. give me the key. No. Now. You're not allowed to Get out. No. <laughs> My day. This is crushing conditions. This is what they're built for. They're built for this and a whole lot more, but um, it's no good having the ultimate uh, fishing platform if it can't get you there and back, mate. Exactly. We better see uh, what this thing can do. Let's give it a go. All right. Uh, this is one of the great, great times in boat ownerships. The first time that you actually open up the taps. The big yammy's got plenty. She's got more than that, mate. Oh, she got much more than that. Much more than that. It was only a short little spurt, but we could tell right away that the hard top will keep us dry and warm in any conditions, and that the Yami F250 had plenty of power to burn, with a top speed of just over 40 knots, 75 kilometers an hour. Another bar crusher, 730 hard top, Peter. It, um, you know, that was only a cursory run, but it seems like a very, very good thing. All systems are operational and uh, very happy, very happy. There is but one thing that remains for this boat, I guess, and that is to uh, go and put it in its sort of natural habitat and catch a fish out of it. Absolutely. You're going to have to get it out on the tuna or the marlin. Uh, there'll be some fun to be had. We've got brand new rods to go with our know, brand new boat. I know. And what we want to do is catch something with a bit of size. That will stretch us. Fish on! Fish on! It's a big one. Big one? I don't know. It's not stopping in a hurry. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a jumbo. It's a great big one. Well, I'm feeling we've got a jumbo on Nick a barrel. Really? Huge big tuna. Um, how are you feeling? Don't throw up. Okay. Sort of, you know, from outwardly seemingly doing very much. Ah, oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that you're budging, but it's it's more that you've got a, a really well-resolved system. You're using your weight and the leverage and, and your sort of your mass. You've got a good system up there with that seat. Yeah, and the and the <laughs> roof. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Really big fish. Now, don't panic. Catch clock is 50 minutes, 50 some minutes. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! oh. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Fish on. That's good fish, aren't they? Oh, I've got a nice fish here, Drew. Yeah. A lovely fish, champ. Big fish, big fish. Bigger fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. And there we go, champ. Well landed. Fire crushers are, yes, they're a fishing boat, but over the years there have been a lot 
of improvements made to make these now a very, very comfortable uh, machine for cruising as well. You know, there's just nice little touches. We've got sliding plate glass windows. Here in the dash, I like this, there's a USB port for charging your phone. There's, there's plenty of 12 volt there as well. Um, this one has a lock-up cabin, that's a good thing. Um, I like down here in the cockpit as well, just a subtle touch, but something not nice, Drew, is... What is um, it, Nick? Well, it's just how the, the, this used to be a 90-degree bend here, but they've put a 45 on it. It's just much more comfortable to do that. It's a small thing, but it's quite significant. This is a nice boat. Oh, yeah. This is nice. This is fun. I'm having fun. Come on. <laughs> As we roll home from Montague Island, Andrew, you'd have to say that the new 730 bar crusher and the big Yamaha, it has been just a faultless shakedown. We're um, travelling 3,900 RPM for about 26 knots. Yep. Uh, just a magic car. This is a very good boat. Yeah. And I'm very excited to, uh, to have this boat now in yeah. our stable that yeah. we can use all of the time. Yeah, so the christening is done. Yeah. But this boat has only 